In the summer of 2008, Andrea and Leah Paulini and their friend Sally Carlson traveled to Uganda. While there, they created a powerful friendship with Hariel Kazindra. After visiting a Ugandan orphanage in devastating conditions, the group wanted to make a difference. It's been five years since that initial trip, and Musana, originally founded as a children's home, has grown into a full community. Along the way, the founders learned many valuable lessons they can share with others looking to make a difference. Community ownership. Foreign aid, in many cases, has spoiled the attitude of locals towards foreigners. It created an expectation of a handout rather than working together to progress. But when the Ugandans had ownership in the decisions, as they did at Musana, they felt invested in the projects and took pride in the community's changes. Through this sense of ownership and dignity, true and lasting change was possible. Persistence and Determination The team had never run an orphanage before, nor did they have experience purchasing land or organizing a school. What's more, difficulties beyond their control, such as corruption, often pose the largest roadblocks, but they remained determined and committed to the mission of Musana. Self-Sustainability Sustainability was always a goal of Musana. Through various projects such as running a restaurant, selling cow's milk, fish farming, and making jewelry, the community has been able to support itself and grow. Building something self-sustainable is vital. It will improve people's lives today and for generations to come. The success of Musana grew from an enormous desire for change. Though it began in the hearts of a small group, it now stands on the shoulders of many. To learn more about Musana, visit us at musana.org.